So my name is Dave Dorhout and I'm here with uh, Dorhout R&D LLC and this is our autonomous microplanter Prospero and what it is it's uh, meant to uh, work as um, a member of a swarm of robots so not just one but you'd have hundreds or thousands of these and the idea is that you have uh, right now you have a tractor the power plant and then you have the brains or the operator and you take that and you break that into a hundred different little pieces and what that does is it frees the farmer from the machine and allows them to make those planting decisions um, allows the farmer to uh, 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 focus on the business and the science of farming and the robot then is able to make those planting decisions on a on a foot by foot or literally on an inch by inch basis maximizing the productivity of the land and so what it does is once it starts up it'll actually calibrate itself for uh, the reflectivity of the, of the surface and the reason why that's important is that after it plants a seed it deposits a little bit of paint that changes it's a lot brighter than when it when it plants and uh, that right now we're just using paint but that could be uh, pre-emergence herbicide or uh, you know anything else micronutrients and stuff like that and you can even do like intercropping uh, with something like this so once after it plants the the seed then uh, it actually immediately forgets and it just checks again uh, if a seed's been planted there and uh, if it has been uh, then it moves on and if it hasn't then it plants the seed there but uh, the seed spacing is determined by the window of the sensors underneath and so for corn it's set up for about four inch uh, diameter uh, other crops would be different sizes and stuff and what that does is it allows the farmer to uh, uh, capture every single ray of sunlight that hits it uh, that's on going to hit their farm because you want the light to hit a plant you don't want it to hit the dirt we're, we're not growing warm dirt so uh, so it's going to be calibrating itself and uh, you can kind of see the little LED lights shining on the ground determine that there's no seed planted there so it's dropping and I was going to uh, drill a hole in there. There might be a little seed stuck in the hopper. There we go. And that's going to cover up the hole. And then it's going to spray. And I'll take a step. And I'll check to see if a seed's been planted there. It hasn't. So it's just going to continue and repeat. This is our robot Aquarius. And what it is, it's a greenhouse watering robot. Uh, we have two different models. One that's called a, an AccuWater. And what's common between both models is that the way that you program it is that you just put a piece of tape, black tape, on the ground and then the robot follows that so if you need to reconfigure your greenhouse like we do uh, three to four times a week you can easily do that and for us it's really important that each plant um, gets the right amount of water that they're not overwatered or underwatered so inside each pot is a simple sensor that the robot as it's driving by there's two little wire whiskers that it makes contact with and that instantly uh, measures how much moisture uh, is in that pot. Now these sensors are dumb sensors. All the electronics are actually on the robot. And uh, so that makes each sensor uh, maybe cost one tenth as much as what it normally does. And so the robot, just you just turn it on, you set what the maximum amount of watering is, and it just takes care of itself and it just waters all day. If it runs out of water, uh, we're gonna be building a uh, refueling, uh, rewatering station so it just remembers where it was in the greenhouse it has dynamic power uh, with uh, encoder so it knows where it is any place in the greenhouse to within about uh, a thousandth of an inch and it just goes back to that spot and rewaters it the other model is the uh, omni water and that just has a little touch sensor so every pot that it touches you know, it gives the same amount of water and that way you don't have to have moisture sensors in every single pot